Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Poetry in the PM. Um, again, just having a blast uh, doing this and sharing poems with you every day. It's been so nice to connect with you in this way and kind of a little bit, you know, unplug and distract from the current situation. Um, again, uh, thank you to all of the healthcare workers around the world working tirelessly to save our lives and the lives of our loved ones who are compromised, are sick, are needy. Thank you so much. We love you so much. Um, without further ado, today's poem is called Bear Hug by Michael Ndache. He is a Canadian uh, poet, uh, Sri Lankan born, but Canadian raised. Definitely a big household name in Canada. Um, most well known probably for his work that was adapted into the film, The English Patient. Um, just an amazing, amazing uh, writer and just so good with imagery. Uh, which is why I picked this poem called Bear Hug. Um, Michael Andache has um, a ton of incredible poems, ones that are much more longer, uh, but this one was kind of short and sweet, and I just I just love something about it. I just uh, The imagery in it is just really cool and um, reminds us of our innocence. So without further ado, I'm going to read uh, Bear Hug by Michael Andache. Griffin calls to come and kiss him goodnight. I yell... Okay, finish something I'm doing, then something else. Walk slowly round the corner to my son's room. He's standing, arms outstretched, waiting for a bear hug, grinning. Why do I give my emotion an animal's name? Give it that dark squeeze of death? This is the hug which collects all his small bones and his warm neck against me. The thin, tough body under the pajamas locks to me like a magnet of blood. How long was he standing there like that before I came? That's it. Short and sweet. I just love this because it, you know... Um, Reminds us to really like love our, our, our young ones in this time, the kids, you know, for all you parents out there. I'm sure it's a hard time keeping these kids inside. They're going nuts. But their imagination is everything that we should aspire to be. And I remember when I was a kid, um, I got a really big kick out of scaring my mom. And I remember just sometimes just waiting for 15, 20, 30 minutes around a corner um, waiting for her to come just to scare her and just the amount of time I had on my hands back then to do things like that and, and, and the amount of uh, just imagination and, and play that we had was, was so amazing and so it reminded me of being a kid hope it reminded you of being a kid um, and just how little we used to be and how powerful our parents were and compared to us and how dependent we were on them and uh, just thought it was a really beautiful image um, anyway you will be happy to know that I have found a guest for a Saturday. I'm really excited. Um, they're going to come on and read a poem with me in another language. I'll be announcing them tomorrow. So that'll be very cool. And I'm starting to try and book guests to do uh, lives. Um, so we can get people reading um, from their culture, their language, their accent, um, whatever it is. So... Um, Thank you so much for listening to Poetry in the PM. I'm going to go to the questions now in the comments. See what you guys... Uh, ask me some questions. Anything you want to say, tell me, ask me. Uh, go ahead. Also, is, like the, is there anything else you'd like to see more of? Is there anything you want me to maybe like add or... Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to make this experience uh, good for you as well. Strombo, what's up, brother? Love you. Of course, he puts black hearts. <laughs> Do I speak French? I don't. I can get along. I'm certainly, if you just dropped me in Paris, I wouldn't be lost and dead in a day. I would definitely be able to find myself around. But uh, no, I do not speak French fluently. In Canada, it's our second language growing up. You guys in the States, you know, you have Spanish as your second language. In Canada, we learn French as our second language. Um, very poorly. Unless you're from Montreal. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Who's going to... Man, Brazil. I love you guys so much. I'm so excited to share uh, a Brazilian poem with you guys. I think you guys are going to freak out. It's so, so good. 
Jake, what's up, brother? I miss doing surgeries with you, man. It's nice to have a little routine amidst the chaos. I agree, and that was the whole reason I created this. Thank you for saying that. Can you play guitar? I can't play guitar. Not very well, but I can. More of a hobby than a profession. But I really had told myself that I should be taking this time to be better at my guitar. And I was actually playing guitar um, right before um, I did this live. I actually have this uh, beautiful guitar right here that I had signed from Amos Lee. Because I went to a concert of his. And he was very kind and wanted to meet me. And we um, shared some, some laughs and some talks together. And he signed this uh, guitar for me. And it's beautiful. Any Amos Lee fans out there? Incredible musician. Argentina. What is your favorite Italian sweet? Ooh. Um, hmm. Pan di stelle. It's a cookie. Stefania knows. My, my, my TV sister. Um, yeah. These like amazing cookies that are like chocolate cookies. They're so good. Um, and cannoli, Jesus, cannoli, wow. I mean, when, when can I not go for a cannoli every day? Hello from Ireland. I'm actually half Irish, so there you go. Look at that. Bet you guys didn't know that. Pandistele, yeah. <laughs> They're the best. If you're in Italy and, and you know, you know. And if you can go, if you've never had pandistele, which means bread of the stars, um, go to like a little, uh, Italian bakery and they usually have imported products and you can, you can get them. They're so delicious with like coffee. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Oi, Brazil. There we go. I did it. I said it. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. God. Hello from Pakistan. Hello from my wife. Oh my God. Amazing. My wife's tuning in. That's great. Good to know. Get back to work, wifey. Nutella biscuits. <laughs> yes, Nutella is amazing. Anything with Nutella is, is amazing. Hi from Israel. Israel, please send me a poem from Israel. In your language, I'd love to have uh, some guests uh, read a poem from Israel. I know you guys have a lot of amazing poets from there, too. Mm, Budapest. We love a supporting wife. <laughs> yes, we do. Gotta always be each other's cheerleaders. That's what relationships are all about. Um, what's going on here? What's your favorite food? Prosciutto. I answered this. Come on. Italian. Prosciutto. Can't quit it. It's like a drug. Mexico, Argentina. Okay, guys. I'm going to sign off. Um, it was lovely reading to you guys. Again, today's poem was called Bear Hug by Michael Ondaatje, Canadian poet. Um, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow for another Poetry in the PM at 2 p.m. Um, also, if you guys have not checked out Tiger King on Netflix... Wow, what a mess. That is amazing to watch, but what a mess. Definitely check it out. Carol Baskin. That's all I'm going to say. Carol Baskin. I'm going to end this with her. Bye, guys. Love you.